Hello, hello, this is Sun Racing Corner, and look what we have on the table today. So this is an unboxing for these load cell pedals from Fussmaster, the TLCM, which stands for Fussmaster Load Cell and Magnetic Pedals. So let's uh, take a look in the box. Well, I'll take a look around the box first. So uh, lots of writing, some stuff. More stuff, and you can see a close up of the brake pedal there. And uh, yeah, not a lot there. And back to the front. Okay, guys, so let's open these up. Just try not to mess up the table. So, yeah, uh, these arrived. I have not opened them. You can see they are still sealed. So, uh, this is effectively my first impression. Um, a review will follow and I do have some uh, serious plans for these um, yeah including the review guys so yes I will uh, look to compare these against my high-end Husenfeld pedals they're low tail pedals as well but they are in the region of three and a half times as much as these in cost uh, but yeah, low cell pedals. So, you know, we'll see how they compare. Do you need to have expensive low cell pedals or will something like this, an entry level effectively um, set of low cell pedals? Or will they provide similar sort of performance? I thought that's an interesting test. Um, also, uh, for the future, I, um, I do like the idea of a video which um, I will put out for beginners really. Talk about low cell pedals in general. And, uh, Make a comparison between load cell and the sort of cheaper potentiometer based pedals. Um, so, first thing out of the box is uh, that's interesting. A, we have a, a drilling template. So, that's kind of, yeah, that's useful. So, you can just see it's actually got holes in there. So, yep, yeah, so you can put it against your pedal deck and then drill through so you can get your uh, um, holes in there. So, that's really handy. So you can see there's uh, one, two, there's five holes here so that's good um, and also uh, a bit of a guide on some of the parts nothing on the other side this may be useful for me um, I'm not sure if I'm going to mount this to the main sim rig um, it may be a bit of a job but um, it may be necessary for the review to just give them a fair review because the, the mounting them into a sim racing cockpit rather than using wheel stand will be better for me better seating position if I'm perfectly honest um, so okay so this is what it looks like in the box uh, let me take this off and I will pull it out okay so here we go still the polystyrene comes with a few little uh, accessories here which I've just dropped Okay, so here we have a bag with some springs and some, uh, just like some pedal face, uh, sort of um, things to push them out to sort of like change the orientation of the, the pedals if you need to. So I think you can put push them into a different. So you take the pedal face off and then you put these behind them, I think, or possibly these are just supposed to be uh, pedal replacement smaller type of ones. I don't know, we'll see. I wouldn't have thought that would be the case, but who knows. Um, instruction manual. Cables. So the thing about these pedals, you can plug them directly into your Thrustmaster, Thrustmaster wheelbase using that uh, kind of phone-like um, connector. I'll show you, or you can plug them into USB directly into your PC. So here we go, here's the USB cable, and it's like a printed style cable, USB on that side, so normal stuff. And then we have those, you can see that. Yeah, so put that out of the way as well. And um, Allen key. Um, washers and springs so of course the springs are there to change the the, 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 you know, the strength of the, the brake pedal to give you a different feeling of uh, stiffness so let's put these to one side at the moment we'll get the, get the uh, 
get the pedals out and the polystyrene. Have a quick look. They're pretty heavy, so they feel nice and substantial. That's a good sign to begin with. So first off, it's a plastic metal plate there. Feels nice and chunky. Uh, below. There's some pads. So that's plastic as well. And the screw holes for the mounting points. And there you go. And on the back, you can just see that. So these, these arms are metal, so that's aluminium. It's got that sort of aluminium rough feel to them as well. And we see it already has some springs in there for the load cell brake. And uh, so that's the accelerator, that's the clutch. There's a soft stop there. You can see if I hammer it down, there's some sort of bumper in there. So there's a rubber bumper, I can see a spring in there. And clutch has a slightly stronger spring compared to the accelerator there and um, there's no clutch sort of feel to it it's just a spring loaded lever sadly which um, yeah it's a bit of a shame really because it'd be nice to have that kind of clunky um, sort of clutch feel but that doesn't exist on these you can see lined up you can see all the pedal faces are flush the front you can just see we do have different sizes of plates so it's, it's a slightly rough feeling surface on there you can see a sort of brushed effect okay so this allen key is for moving the position so you can take those out need to work out what these are. I'm wondering if they're to push the pedals out to make them more flat because that looks like they what they probably are. I expect they are actually. I think they are to sort of push them out because um, you can see how long the screws are. They're unusually long which would then suggest it's there so that can be pushed in sides and behind, behind there. To, I don't know if it's replacing it or doubling it up. I need to look into that, but yeah, that's what it looks like to give you a different um, a different angle on the pedals, make it more flatter maybe, depending on what your pedal deck requirements are and your seat position. Uh, let's have a look at the load cell. That's the one we want to take a look at. Let me zoom in. Okay, so in between, I'm not sure how I can how this comes out, but I think it's probably easy to disassemble. Disassemble. So down here, I think this is the load cell. There's a little wire coming off that little bottom piece there, and you can just see that wire there. So there, and that's connected to that bottom piece. So I think that's the load cell which we're pressing against. So that's measuring obviously the weight as we push down. You can see in the middle there is a, uh, there's a soft spring there, which is like the preload. So you can just see that it does, it's really easy to push with just one finger here. But you get to a point when, when that collapses, it starts getting stiffer. So I can, you know, so it's not particularly strong for a load cell. Uh, consider I can push it in my hands when load cell um, pedals like on my Husenfeld ones you can't really you can't really push it at all because it's really really stiff so 
although I can feel it does obviously change, I can feel the graduation of the pressure, um, the springs changing, the profile of the feel of it. So that does work. Um, so that's not too, that white one. Red ones are the hardest ones. Just dropped a little uh, space there. Okay, so yeah, so red is obviously the harder ones. And I'm not sure. There must be an easy way to change these out. But let's see if I can do it. Is it as easy as that? Ah, it is, right, okay. So you can see that top piece there. You can see it's all just come apart, so it's easy to change around. So let's just try, just quickly try one of these other ones. So that's not too stiff, that one. And so there may be an ordering, it probably wouldn't really matter which order you put them in, whether or not the soft ones are the top or the hard ones at the bottom. It doesn't really matter on that. Um, so let's just swap it out with this one. Interestingly, it's... Uh, Looks harder. It's a uh, it's a smaller smaller uh, spring. So I'm assuming we can just do this and then put that on top like that. Push it down and then smash it in, and that's that's changed. So that's certainly harder. Yeah, that's certainly <laughs> it's certainly tougher. And I prefer that, but it also depends on how you're mounting your pedals. If you're going to put these on the floor, then uh, you're going to be forced to using the softer ones, so otherwise you're going to be pushing the pedals around. Um, where is... Okay, right, let's have a thing. Here we go. Let me just zoom out again, guys. You can see those are the sockets, so USB and the one for connecting directly to your first master wheelbase. This, there's also a little button in there and a blue light, which you can just sort of catch a glimpse of. So I'm not sure that's some sort of reset button for something. Uh, it could be it saves the settings maybe and it's a reset button, who knows. But yeah they look they're pretty nice actually I'm, i think for i think they're about i bought these for 189 pounds so um, they're slightly down from what they what they launched at and uh, they feel sturdy it does feel everything feels pretty solid i mean of course it's plastic but it is um it's, i expect it's going to be abs and it seems like thick plastic so they do feel very at least on my table here they feel pretty solid so first impression is quite nice. I'm quite I'm quite happy with these. I think they look they look quite nice. I think they look actually pretty good. They're a good size. Um, the face plates on here are decent size as well. We can't adjust the uh, the obviously the positions uh, width ways of the pedals unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I guess that they're okay. They should be okay. But yeah, overall, yeah, first impression is pretty pretty nice. They feel sturdy. Um, and uh, yeah, it just remains for me to get them mounted either on my wheel stand or my sim rig, which is over there, and then give them a run, and then getting on with uh, my review. So yeah, pretty good stuff. All right, guys, well, there you go. Here's my, that's my first look at these Fussmaster load cell pedals. And uh, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Right guys, well, uh, there you go, that's it for this one. I'll be back soon, of course, uh, with something new in a couple of days. So uh, stay tuned, and until then, happy simming, and bye-bye.